Well, welcome back. You know, personal health is top of mind in the current news cycle. Hand washing and personal hygiene, of course, are essential, but so is giving your body what it needs to be able to fight the viruses. And today we're talking about supplements and food that are healthy for you and the foundational five for the good health. Julia Dugas is here. She's a registered dietitian for Lifetime. Julia, nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a good idea, you know, to think about uh, just making sure that you are strong and that you're going to be able to fend off whatever's coming because we don't know exactly what the severity of what's coming is. Right. Yes, absolutely. And we want to make sure that we're doing all that we can to support our immune system in times like this as well. Yep. Um, and doing some specialized supplementation can definitely help help try to protect you as much as possible against things like that. And then we all talk, we always talk about hydration and exercise, which mm -hmm. is also two uh, elements. But now let's talk about uh, food. Let's first start out with vitamins and yes. uh, multivitamins in particular. Yes. So you, you say it really, de it really depends. It really determines what is going to happen depending on what you take. And, you, and going bargain shopping for vitamins is not a good idea. Absolutely, yes. So when we're talking supplements, quality is one of the biggest key factors that we want to watch out for. If we're bargain shopping, we're going to be excreting a lot of the nutrients that we're intaking, and it's essentially really expensive urine, like we like to say. Um, so what we want to do is we want to take methylated vitamins, chelated minerals, things that are really good quality, really bioavailable, so that you're actually able to absorb it efficiently, and then your body can use it properly. So should everyone take a multivitamin along with hopefully a healthy diet? We recommend that for most people. If you do have any medical conditions, we always recommend talking to your healthcare practitioner before starting any new supplements. But for most people, yes, a multivitamin is a great supplement to a healthy diet. Yep, and it isn't just because you were saying if you eat fast food every day and just take one of these, you're not <laughs> gonna be healthy. So you really need yeah, to, of exactly. course, fruits and vegetables, fruits and vegetables and greens as well. Yep. Okay, let's uh, go to our second uh, category here, which is fish oil. Yes, fish oil, and more importantly, the omega-3s within the fish oil. So when we're taking fish oil supplements, we want to make sure there's a really good quantity of those EPA and DHA fatty acids, those omega-3s. That's the most important. Those are anti-inflammatory. They help with brain function, immune function, hormone production, all of that. And you can get that with salmon as salmon well. Salmon as well, yes, Olive absolutely. Olive oil, salmon, avocados. We talked about all those kind of things. Okay, salmon's a really good one for yes. that. All right, now the next uh, category here is magnesium. Yes, magnesium is actually a nutrient interestingly enough that you're going to use more of if you have a high stress level that mm. could be mental emotional stressors it could be a high activity level either you know a high level of exercise or a physically demanding job you need more magnesium and that's going to help with muscle function magnesium can be great for helping to reduce stress and actually with like muscle cramping as well and i take it at night it really helps me sleep yeah it also also helps with regularity Mm -hmm. And so if you're not going to actually take the magnesium or you want to take the magnesium, some, I noticed you have some spinach here, almonds, mm -hmm. um, cashews. Yes, exactly. Those are some good food sources of magnesium as well. And 500 milligrams is still recommended? Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. 500 milligrams. Yep. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one, digestive enzymes. Yes, so digestive enzymes over here, this is super important because like we said, we want to get a good mix of healthy, nutritious foods, your vegetables, healthy proteins. But if we're not actively breaking those foods down properly, you're not going to be able to absorb all the nutrients from the food and so this okay. comes down to like digestive symptoms people who have a lot of like bloating gas might benefit from a digestive enzyme as well as someone with nutrient deficiencies to make sure we're getting all of that from our food and so is this apple cider vinegar here yes okay. yep so a super small amount like an ounce of apple cider vinegar before a meal can help with breaking down your food and digestion oh. as well as pineapple pineapple is a natural source of digestive enzymes as well and so tasty and yeah. this is easy to just to take that really quick oh yeah and absolutely. I skipped right over vitamin D I apologize <laughs> because now we're getting so much sunlight now thank the Lord <laughs> but um, but vitamin D, I take a ton of this. This really does help me a lot. Yes. Yep. If you're deficient in vitamin D, you're going to notice a huge impact on your energy levels. Fatigue is one of the biggest symptoms that you're going to experience with um, a low vitamin D level. Vitamin D is also absolutely crucial for hormone production. Okay. Oh, such, yeah. such good information. These are the top five. And if you want any more information, of course, we have a link to the Lifetime website. And we appreciate you coming in this yeah, morning. Thank you.